Anything else you want to mention about dropping out of high school or question I didn't ask, people want to know about it. Well, that's it. That's like a crazy story experience. Me and my um, my homie Glizzymo, he, he he rapped two times, so we got necessarily banded. He was going to science school. I was that's how I met him in that. But when we met each other, I took him to my crib one day, and my mom was like, "Bro, this your cousin." Type shit. So I me and him got to clicking like this type shit. So we we started going to school and we was being bad, doing shit, fighting niggas, fight arguing with teachers. We was reckless, so they banded us like from being in CPS schools together. We couldn't go to the same school ever. No school in Chicago. We couldn't go to the same school. So that shit really fucked us up. That's another reason. I'm happy that I flew him out here with us to the A, you know, like that's my homie, that's my dog. He was there from day one though. He was one of them. Yeah, so that shit like dropping out of school, that was one of the biggest things. Like me and him dropped out together type shit. Like when I wasn't going when they said we couldn't be in school together, that's another thing that made us want to rap. He was right there with me. He was the one behind the camera recording my Facebook videos and shit. So, and I was recording his and shit. We had a plan. We was going to not go to school and try to rap. But he actually went to another school. He went to Hyde Park and tried. And he stayed a couple more years longer than me, though. I think he made it to his junior year. He like he, he tried he, he tried to go. He tried. And folks ain't make it. <laughs> So let's clarify a few things here. You met this person, didn't even know you were related biologically, just as friends, mm -hmm. and then you find out you guys are biologically related. Mm -hmm. Take him to my, take him to my crib. My mom and I told him my mama his name. She like, you know, you got a cousin with that last name. Then she called and she put the pieces together. She like, well, that's your cousin. Um, damn, he my real cousin, you feel me? So, safe to say both of your bond grew stronger mm -hmm. at that point yeah, once it you grew was... way stronger. Like, we was already, like, locked in as friends, you know? Like, we was really locked in as friends. But when when we found out we was, like, cousins, it was really over. That's why we got banned from spending school together. We started thinking we was untouchable and shit. So... Did you say already in this interview how you two initially met? Oh uh, man, Glizzymo? Yeah, the very first time you two met? Yeah, in school. Like, okay. I ain't necessarily tell you in detail, but like I met him in school trying to bake him and shit. I was trying to f talk about him and shit. I was trying to be a class clown type shit. And he got on my ass and started trying to fire me back. And it made me like him even more because he wasn't no goofy or nothing. He was really like... Well, I ain't going, because I really was just on there with him, like, just trying to be on some tough shit, because I was like that. And he just, one, one going, he talking his shit back. And me and him just hang together, you feel me? Like, we just started hanging together, started talking about people together. <laughs> That's how it went. So what school was this where you guys actually meet Ace, for the very Ace Tech. Day? Ace Tech High School on 55th State. And do you remember what class this was? I think this was like a, um, like a, I think this was, me and folks was in the same grade, so we had done it like every other class together. So I really can't necessarily say what class, but I know we had only like two classes where we didn't see each other in. Every other class he was there, so it could be any class. I don't really know. I ain't really went to school. I don't even remember the names of the classes. I don't count. And then clarify this too, because in this interview you mentioned you dropped out, but then you also mentioned you were banned. So yeah, like it, it's like like we they ain't banned me from school. They ain't they, I can go to I got me and him was banned from being in schools together. See what I'm saying? So and they say like they told me I couldn't go to school. They told me I go to school. You just can't be in the same building as yo homie. You feel me? So I'm like. Damn, so he had to find him a new school. I stayed at that school, but I stopped going to school. You know what I mean? I, and I started, like, picking him up from school type shit. So, yeah. And he, he kept going to school yeah, up until going. junior year, and then that's when he dropped out. Mm -hmm. So you didn't drop out at the same time at as the him. same time. He dropped out a little later after you. Yeah, but he still necessarily wasn't, that, wasn't going to school. Like, when I told him I, want, I needed him with me, he had stayed. Like, he, he wouldn't go. He didn't care. But the days when he was, like, at home with his mama and shit, he'd go. He don't want to disappoint Mama Dukes, you know? 
you dropping out, meeting your cousin, didn't know it was your cousin, all the school antics that you just described, have you mentioned this in your music at all? No, I ain't never spoke on like that shit in music. I said, I'll leave that for the end of this. You, you touched on this for a second in this interview, but I don't know if you want to expand on it. The next question was going to be, what's your opinion on education in the American society now? And mentioned here, uh, you touched on it slightly. Uh, did you want to add on to that or keep it where you left it? I'll just leave that where I left it. Okay. Now, final question here. When kids grow up, sometimes they have aspirations of what they want to be or what they want to do when they get older. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Did you have one when you were growing up? Inspiration. Yeah, Person did you I say to yourself, to. when I grow up, I want to be this? Yeah, that, I did. I wanted to rap, you know. I wanted to do what I'm doing right now. That's one thing about me, like. What I set my mind to doing, I always did it. Like, if I told you I was going to do something to you, it, it happened. I'm going to just say that. At this point, are you considered a full-time recording artist? Full-time. I'm going to leave here and go record. I got artists in the studio right now. How long would you say you've been full-time for? Rough estimate. Shit, two years since I started. Shit, I've been locked in with music. Like I always, people were always like said my voice was good for it, my energy was good for it, and shit like that. So I ain't never had no doubts about music. I knew it was gonna be a good thing to run full force into, you know. And for time reference, it's February, twenty twenty two now.